Hey guys, it's Ben with Ben's Appliances, and I am doing another teardown video today, but it's going to be just a little different, but not really from all the other videos that I have done. This is a refrigerator that I bought for $50 used under the assumption that it was in good working order. And the thing about this is I decided that I wanted to, rather than flip it and resell it, I'm just going to tear it down because we started a new program. I've uh, been working on it for quite a few months now. I actually had a lot of delays to make scrapping appliances easier for my business. We scrap a lot of appliances and we decided to develop something to make it easier to try to figure out how to get the most value out of appliances whether it's a fridge, stove, washer, or dryer. And the nice thing with this is it has everything in it. Now the whole point of doing this AI is to come up with a list of things that are actually worth money in a fridge. The reality is 90% of stuff in a fridge isn't worth money, but with these labels and the list, hopefully we can recoup some of the money that we have invested in the unit and also make it a lot easier to start pulling parts and label them and inventory them. Truth is, it's not very easy to get everything inventoried and labeled on a refrigerator like this. The shelves sometimes have the product numbers on them, but a lot of times the drawers and dishes don't, and it makes it very hard to figure out if anything's worth money. See, my background really isn't in appliances or fixing things. It's actually in analytics and data, as I used to work for a video game company. So when it came time to figure out how to make it easier to pull apart these fridges for fun and profit, I realized, hey, I needed to come up with a system that could help me pull sales information fast to know if a part is worth anything or not. In this fridge, there's a lot of parts that are worth money, so the system isn't quite as useful, but I still was able to find a lot of items that were worth way more money than I thought they would. To start off, the door bins and meat pans and crispers are pretty basic items to take off of any fridge. We're going to fast forward through a different few places so you don't have to wait 30 minutes to see what the value of the appliances are. On a refrigerator, meat pans and crisper pans always tend to bring in quite a bit of money. But the first thing that this AI found out that was worth a good bit of money are these spill safe drawers. These I normally would throw away because they tend not to fetch any money. The second wider one we fast forward through because it was worth, like I thought it would be, nothing. So I pulled it out kind of in vain. And with this system, it only makes recommendations to me on what is or isn't worth money. For example, this tow grill on this Frigidaire refrigerator wasn't worth a whole lot of money. When I actually tried to list it online, I think the uh, regular price, if I was going to sell it, was going to be $10 plus shipping, which really isn't worth it to me. So even though it's listed on this video, I ended up not doing anything with it. Inversely, the crisper drawer and glass is in fact worth as much money as it was listed, which really was surprising. Unfortunately, not every item you're going to pull off an appliance to sell is going to be in good working order. In the case of the gasket, it was ripped at the bottom, which I don't think you can see on the screen, and it's a huge problem because it probably was the most expensive part that we were going to pull out of this fridge and was also going to be the fastest selling. According to the AI that we built, it probably would only take about two to three weeks to sell the item because it's in high demand, so that really isn't fun. It takes a little bit of time to take off the door handles, but I have actually found that they're worth more than you'd think. This model, it they do not sell for as much as others that I have sold. The last set of Kenmore Frigidaire door handles I sold as a set ended up getting be between $60 and $70 less shipping. So I was really excited to take these ones off of the fridge, despite the fact that they're not really worth too much money. They are 10 minutes in just tearing down this refrigerator. I already got a ton of usable, sellable parts off of the unit. I don't know what the exact total is yet, but you're looking at between two and four hundred dollars of parts here, depending on how negotiations go. And unlike every other video I've done where I'm going to just provide a number on what I think the parts are worth, according to eBay, I'm going to do a follow-up video in about two weeks with what I actually sold on the refrigerator and how much it sold for. My goal with this project is to hopefully make a lot more money on eBay by using an automated system to pull part values on every item and hopefully be able to list a lot more a lot faster. For example, these door hinges, which take forever to get off, 
of the unit, they're still ending up going to be worth a nice little bit of money, and I know that they sell very quickly based on previous experience. Not everything in a refrigerator is going to be worth money. At this point in the video, I've torn out probably 80% of the things that are worth money. And like we saw with the gasket earlier, not everything in this fridge is going to actually be worth uh, saving, such as this wire rack, which would probably be worth 20 or $30, and also this ice maker. They're both kind of rusted and dirty, which you may or may not be able to see in the video. From here, I have to take a pause in the video to go back to my actual job because customers start piling in and I have to change shirts because I don't want to wear the same thing two days in a row. On this unit, I wish the ice maker was in better shape because it's worth, if working, between $30 and $50. On scrapping appliances, ice makers end up being worth quite a bit of money if they work because they tend to break very very often on refrigerators and on a top freezer like this they're worth again thirty to forty dollars but on some of the nicer side-by-sides and french doors you can get into an extremely high amount of money if you know what the model number is and the type of contents with the ice maker which have may have multiple parts associated with the ice making system the nice thing about tearing down appliances like this is that you can get a lot of parts not only to sell but also use later on to fix other refrigerators. Typically when it comes to the evaporator and defrost systems, I'm not going to sell these parts online. I'm going to save them for other refrigerators because when we tend to want to fix a refrigerator, it's because the defroster system, whether it's the heater or the defrost timer or the defrost thermostat is bad, which they aren't very expensive to buy, but it's easier to have it on hand used than have to go out and wait a week to buy or receive new parts. The final thing we're working on is the control assembly with the defroster and the cold control. Typically these aren't worth much money on a basic refrigerator, but they are nice to keep in stock like the defroster stuff. All the parts of value came off early, and now it's parts we're going to keep, and I'm not pricing them out so you get a sense of inflation on the value of this fridge. For this experiment in the video, I've already listed all of these parts online on eBay, so in two weeks' time we can come back and see exactly what the parts go for. With everything being able to be labeled much more effectively and quickly on items, the hope is that my sales on eBay go a lot faster, not just for this fridge, but in general. This may be one machine that we're doing a video of, but really I have 20 or 30 machines that we have to process in the same way. Finally, we have the total part value of what this fridge tore down for. I was able to list almost $700 worth of parts just from the single fridge on eBay, and then I was able to keep a few parts for myself, but unfortunately lost almost $100 in parts just from damages.